the Peace Boys returned home for match day four, following match day three's disappointing outcome in Benin. Laced against a Sunshine Stars of Akure side that dropped two points at home to Heartland Football Club of Oweri, coupled with Edith Agoye's ultra defensive philosophy. The Peace Boys were in for the gambit. Despite a number of returns to the first team, former Gombe United fullback Umar Ahmed Farouk made his debut appearance for the Peace Boys and his lively, captivating, creative and menacing performance caught the fancy of an expectant fan base whose admiration for his abilities and penetrative capabilities saw him cap off a fine performance on his debut even after being substituted. Despite restricted spaces between both halves of the game, the Peace Boys created a number of impressive chances but appeared still short of securing the reward for their fine work of chance creation and a sustained press that in most cases pinned their opposition on the back foot. After 32 minutes, however, when Uche Aonsoya was stripped just over 25 yards from the opposition net, Albert Hilary laces a thunderous shot off Sandy Antoni's backheel pass to spark massive celebration and put the Peace Boys one up. Sunshine Stars had decent opportunities to claw back into the game, not in a manner that unsettled Platy United to a point of massive risk. With Sunshine Stars and Platy United's technical advisors, Edith Agoye and Boas Mangut, respectively, submitting. Today we came with a big plan to restrict their dominance on the field, especially in the middle. And I think we did that to a large extent. Unfortunately, they scored from set pieces, which we could not defend very well. The team, the team was a very tactical team. They came with a system, a system that the strong point was very obvious to see on the field of play. And the coach is one of the best coaches we have in Nigeria. Uh, we expected the team to be this good and they did not disappoint. Those exercises can be created in different angles, like a game situation, you know. Sometimes you can have it from the side coming um, from pull out or a cut back, whatever. We have to arrange so many programs that will relate to such things so that they get used to finishing it. And uh, I know with practice we're going to improve and then we'll be taking more of the chances because we are really throwing away chances. Six home wins. Three draws and no win on the road forms the big picture on March Day 4 with only Aqua United and Heartland Football Club of Uwere yet to pick a win after four rounds of games. Platy United head northeast with a date against Gombe United at the Pantami Stadium. Kano Pillars head east with a matchup against Enugu Rangers on March Day 5. With only four games decided already, the resurgent number of fans that turn up to the stadium en masse have hardly been unconnected with the reorganized security architecture and the slashing of gate taken fees which holds promise of bringing fans back to the stadium yet again, just like fish thrown into the river.